Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can create swept walls in the generated shape until design workbench in KTIV5. So there are different kind of swept walls. Swept walls are created by sweeping a profile along the selected edge. Different types of swept walls are there like a flange, hem, teardrop and user flange. So I'm going to discuss creating flange on sheet metal component over here. So to start off I'm going to create a basic sheet metal design. Remember that uh, you need to create a basic wall in order to use a swept wall. So I'm going to create a basic wall over here. You have a basic wall over here now. Now I'll go to insert walls and flange. You have two options. One is by going to this particular option here or else go to this particular flange drop down and you have uh, this flange option here. So all the other options are over here which is yet to be discussed. So let's see how uh, and what options are there in our flange. So once I click on the flange I need to specify the edge which I'm gonna create the flange. So once I click, I'm going to get the options like uh, I'm going to get the preview of the flange which is going to cre create it. So you can increase and decrease the uh, inclination, the angle of inclination, and you can uh, increase the radius. You can increase the length over here. So let's see, uh, you have different kinds of lengths over here. Let's see what are those, those lengths. So this first option, uh, the third option right here, that is the outer length type, is uh, the uh, option which is used to specify the vertical distance from the lower face of the base wall to the extreme edge of the wall created first option which you can see over here is a standard length type which is already selected over here this option is used to specify the height of the flange from the start of the bend to the extreme edge of the wall created the second option what you can see over here inner length type is actually calculating the specifying the uh, vertical distance from the upper face of the base wall to the extreme edge of the wall created and the last option which you can see here is the total length what you can see so it is uh, the option which is which allows you to uh, specify the vertical distance from the lower face of the base wall to the extreme edge of the wall created so according to your requirement you're going to select uh, the edges i mean uh, you're going to you're going to select uh, any of the length type over here and uh, you have two types of uh, mm, angle of inclination one is uh, inner angle type and one is outer angle type so I'm going to select the inner angle type and what you can see over here is the inner angle type so I'm going to select the outer angle type and uh, you can see the difference so you can change it according to your requirement you can change the radius over here and uh, <coughs> so all these options are coming under uh, the basic option and uh, you have another option which is to be which is yet to be discussed that is the li really limited option so uh, let me just uh, explain you a couple of other options here so the spine what you can see over here displays the name of the selected edge of the existing wall. To remove the selected entity from the, sp the spine display box, you should choose and uh, select the remove wall button and uh, whatever edge you have selected will be removed and you can specify a new edge. So and the trim support which you can see over here, this is a little bit important. So by default this checkbox will be cleared as you can see over here so as a result a flange will be created upwards from the selected edge and uh, when you select the trim support option what happens is the flange will be created inward from the selected edge 
at a distance equal to the radius of the flange, whatever radius I've specified. Also, the portion of the wall beyond the radius will be trimmed. So this particular portion is going to get trimmed. You have uh, one more option that is the flange plane. So what is this flange plane? You have an option to specify the plane where you are going to create the flange. So I'll, I'll click on the flange plane option. So whatever flange plane option I'll, I'm going to discuss on my next video so keep watching thank you so much in my next video I'm going to discuss the really limited option as well as the flange option the flange plane option which is coming under the basic drop down thank you so much for watching if you have any doubts clarify your doubts by commenting just below my video and I'll be getting back to you as soon as possible thank you so much